Hey guys, what's going on? Saucy Effects here. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on 3D Stroke. And basically I'm going to show you how to make a line that like comes around and whooshes around him and uh, makes it look 3D. So this plugin is from Trapcode. It's called 3D Stroke. There's plenty of videos to show you how to download it on YouTube. Just look those up if you don't have it. But basically let's get right into it. So first, know where you want to do it. So I'm doing it right here. I want it to like come like this. So I'll make a solid layer by going to Layer, New Solid, or just Command Y. Uh, from where you want it, so just trim it to that, which I already did. Now we're going to enable this, let's be black at first, but then get the effect uh, 3D stroke, and we will go ahead and drag this on. Now we have 3D stroke on here, and hold me undo this. So what we want to do basically is mask out with the pen tool just the path we want our 3D stroke to travel on. So I want to start here, and if you hold down, you can curve it. Come like this, maybe. And finish up like this so you can adjust that a lot I'm just doing this really quickly for the purpose of the tutorial um, but basically yeah now we want to animate it now so to do that go to the beginning of where you want it to start uh, hit offset make a keyframe at the beginning make it negative 100 so it starts at the very beginning and then just go later on and then drag it until it ends and you can drag this forever just drag it like it about once it ends. And so now we have this. We can just watch it back so you can't see the mask. So it's not looking too great right now. Obviously, it's going very slow and it's a little choppy. So to fix that, to drag, uh, we want to make it a lot faster. If we want to make it go faster, we can drag this keyframe forward and vice versa. If we go like this, we'll go slower. But I want it to be a lot faster, so let's try this. I think that's pretty good. Now, once we have that, um, we want to make it look better, right? So we have the anim basic animation. First off, um, you can adjust stuff like the thickness and stuff here. So thickness, I'll leave it about the same. Feather, make it a little softer on the edges. I'll turn up a little bit. That's what it does, basically. Um, so we'll make the feather about, like, 20. Now, this will make it look a lot better immediately. So go to Taper and hit Enable for Taper. Now, once you've done that, your Taper is going to be enabled. And it already looks a lot better. It's a little choppy. That's from the mask. We can fix that up pretty easily. Hold on. Just fix that. Um, but basically, what taper does, it makes it like skinnier in some parts and wider in some parts. So if, let's just make it like wide up here and skinny in the back. So to do that, oh my goodness. When start thickness, we want to turn that down. And end thickness, turn that all the way up. Now if we watch it, that's already looking pretty cool, pretty good. Um, now, to add some more like color and fun to it, uh, we're going to go add here and make it red. Now, right now it's just red, but we're going to drag in an effect called hue and saturation. And what this will do is basically, um, oh my gosh, we'll be able to change the color to whatever we want. So if I want it to be like a blue, um, I just make it that, and it's like that. So now that color is good and also what we're going to do actually to make it look even cooler is just reset this keyframe this here and then right where it ends make it one and now the color will actually change so that looks pretty cool um, you can if you want this as a regular color like I said just get rid of the keyframe and put whatever you want now um, let's make it go behind him so I want it to come on top go behind his arm and then go behind him here so it looks 3D and what we need to do is mask out the player where you want it to go under. So if I want to go under like here and here, that's where you need to mask. I just roto brush the whole body out actually. Um, I did it really, really poorly just because I was in a hurry. Um, and then, so you can see the little errors there. But then basically, I just want the mask to apply only, only, my mouse is broken by the way guys. Sorry, I keep zooming in. Um, I won't only want it to apply on this half of him. So I just made a mask so that's where I want it to apply. And then if we watch it, it looks pretty cool. Obviously, there's a little error up here, but that's because I did it in a hurry. Um, but it's looking pretty cool, pretty 3D. So just a little final touch to add to make this like glow. We'll add the effect, go to effect, um, stylize, and glow. So we'll make the radius about um, like 25. Threshold, to bring it down a little bit. You can adjust that, see what it looks like. I mean, it's really whatever you want, but I'll show you what I do. Threshold it like there. Intensity down a little bit. Now, if we watch this, 
it looks pretty awesome. Um, obviously, the mask would be a little better and it would look perfect. But you can do this wherever you want. Very customizable. One of my favorite effects. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it helped out. If you have any questions or requests, um, just let me know and uh, comment them below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and follow my other social medias in the description. And also, if you want to buy any of my products, check out my Selfie, also in the description. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.